Well, I did it again. Um, I was so impressed with the the, the way that ran the, the first girl walk ran on that the two sets, you know, the, the two two batteries that I went ahead. It just I I, I I'm not a very patient person, so I want to see if I can't get you know these uh, girl watts to work in in split phase. And if I if they were able to run my shop on, on split phase, I will be one happy camper. So I went ahead and I ordered another grill watt. It just showed up today. I actually ordered this one from uh, Signature Solar. Not, not because they gave it to me or anything. I paid full price. And they actually had the best price on online. I mean, cheaper than eBay or any place else I could find. So definitely, you know, shout out to signature solar on this and i i ordered it well they're in texas i'm in texas i ordered it one day i had it the next you know so uh yeah i ordered it yesterday morning it just showed up this evening so awesome awesome sales uh gonna unpack this and see how well it shipped out and then work on figuring out how to get this all hooked up i'm not gonna bore you with too much i just want to show you i mean they do come well packed you know that you get your manual and your bag of cables so they they do come pretty well packed in here you know lots of styrofoam so i mean grow Watt does a nice job as far as packing them all up and that especially the way ups and lately everybody seems to be beating the heck out of my packages getting out here so i'm glad they're doing what they're doing as far as packing them up good and there you have it pulled it all out of there and yeah absolutely don't no visual damage or anything on it so that's definitely a good sign i'm going to see if i can't get this uh cover off and get it hung up on the wall all right got it hung up and got this cover pulled off and yeah you know, i just did a little inspection everything looks good on the inside everything's there uh that that other unit i got when i got it in the they ship these with these nuts on here loose. They don't tighten them down. And those actually fell and it fell behind that one circuit board. So I had to very carefully use a little plastic zip tie and kind of poked it back through there. But these are on, we're on there, but they're, they're still loose. And I don't know why they just don't snug them up. They wouldn't fall off that way. Now, I am not doing any modifications to this grow out like I did the other one as far as putting holes in here until I I, I know that this is gonna that this grow out is gonna function the way it should because I definitely don't want any kind of warranty issues if somebody says you know well you did that to it so that voids the warranty so this what this unit because this is going to be the slave unit it, it for the split phase it won't be as bad because I don't need ACN at this point in time, I won't need solar in because I only have enough solar panels. That one can handle all my solar panels right now for the charger. So it's no sense in putting the solar panels to this unit also when, when that one can handle the charging of the battery. So it's just a matter of getting the battery cables through here and the AC out in there. So I, I won't, I shouldn't at this point in time anyways have to make those same modifications as making big, bigger openings in here. So you can see I have the, the wires back here in the, for the AC out, uh, the neutral and live and uh, the ground. So now I have one on this phase and one on this phase. The, the commons are connected and the grounds are connected and it feeds out of here and it's going to go back to the panel. So let me get this back together and start powering these up and programming them and see how far we can get. Well, there you have it. They are hooked up and they are running in split phase. They're running 240 volt. And you can see this one is my, uh, what we call the master unit. It has the H5, so this is the lead unit on it, and this one here has the 2P on it, so that's the second, the slave, and the, the two, the 2P 
P or something because they had it can be set up for 208 or 240 and I wanted it for 240 volt and I can show you that here let me set you down alrighty so I have the meter on get in there and get in there you can see 240.6.7 you can't get much closer than that I think that's I think that's closer than the grid is actually so you can see they're running I, I don't have a, anything um, 240 volt running on them right now. So I'm about to go through and start trying some of that stuff on, on them to make sure that they don't like kick out. One don't kick out, one stays on or something like that. And yeah, I got to clean up some of this stuff too. I, you know, I just was kind of rushing through some stuff. This one here, I still got to double up on the, the cables going to it. And in order to double up the cables, I have to modify inside of here. So before I modified anything in here, I wanted to make sure everything works, you know, not that I modify it. And they, then they say I messed something up by modifying it. Yeah, so in, in, in the meantime, I'm, like I say, just testing everything. So I, you know, I'm just, I'm not going to push anything. So I'm not going to drive, you know, more than uh, 100 amps through there. So we're, we'll, we'll be fine. I'll, I'll just be cautious of what I'm doing. I'm not running anything. I mean, if a direct short happens, it happens. I think the, the fuse down there will, will blow before we start melting any of these uh, four gauge wires here. Okay, I think for a small test is, this is a 12,000 BTU air conditioner. So it, 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 all, it only draws about five, five six amps on the AC side you know AC let's see how the inverters do that's on fan there's cold see if it starts up the compressor have to give it a minute now we can go check out the inverters Okay, there it kicked on. I I actually had the temperature set too high on it, but yeah, it just kicked on. You can see this one. The only thing that's running right now on this one is just the air conditioner on this uh, uh, phase. So that's at 20% load. You can see the shop lights and everything on this one. This is at uh, 40, 42, 44% load. So let's go in here. Yeah, I'll grab that. And you can hear this is running. Free cool air, my friends. So that is awesome. Here, turn that noisy thing off. Um, yeah, it, the only time I really run the air conditioner out here in the shop is if I plan on being out here for quite a while. Otherwise, I have some fans set up and stuff. If I'm just going to be out here for like a half hour, it's not worth you know, cooling down my whole shop. But if I know I'm going to be out here in the summertime where I'm out here for, you know, two to four hours, you know, it's just kind of nice to know if I'm going to be out here that long, that, that, that means I'm going to be using my shop. So I'm going to go back to the grid, but I can fire up that air conditioner, cool down the shop for free and then shut it off, go back to the grid, use my shop and the batteries will charge back up. So I, it's kind of my plan on that and yeah I can see I'm getting some other stuff here to set up I want to set up the table saw and the band saw over there for uh, 240 volt so that way it'll be easier on these grow watts when I have to come in here and cut a couple boards so I'm gonna put the link for uh, signature solar down there not because I get any money from them just because I was really impressed with how quick I got it the condition of it and I did email them because they actually didn't have them in stock when I first, and they got back to me. I mean, they, they seem like they're on top of their game. So I don't get anything from them. It's just a place that I, I feel confident going back and doing some more business with if needed. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, change around the saw and, uh, well, the table saw and the band saw and see, get them working in uh, 240 volt. 
and see if I'm able to run the shop lights, run the dust collector, start up a table saw or, or band saw, whichever, and go from there. But right now I don't want to make this one overly long. So I will put that one in another video, what I come up with when I get that all done. Thanks for watching. Bye.